All right, so you found your favorite color butterfly, and I've already drawn part of the butterfly for you. You're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut on the black line. It's folded, okay? Don't unfold it. Cut on the black line. Now you put your scissors away and this is garbage. When you open it up, it makes a butterfly shape. So with your textured background, you're going to use the glue cup and the paintbrush to glue on your butterfly. You dip your paintbrush in the glue and you paint the back of your butterfly. You don't have to paint it a lot. You're just trying to get around the edges because <clears throat> this is just one step for today. We still have to decorate our butterfly. So we're going around the edges of our butterfly with our glue. And then you're going to flip it over and pat, pat. Now it's time to decorate our butterfly. You decide which way's up. Is this up or is this up? You decide, okay? First thing we're gonna do is use the tissue paper. It's in little cups. Now the thing you need to re remember on butterflies is whatever you do on one side, you have to do to the other side. They are symmetrical, they show symmetry. So I'm gonna get one piece of tissue paper and I'm not going to leave it this big cup, this big shape. I'm going to cut maybe some little strips out of it. Now if I do two strips on this side, I have to do two strips on this side. If I do two strips down here with the purple, then where do I put the other two strips? Over here? Good, right here. So I gotta do two strips down here. All right, awesome. Let's get another color. Again, we're still using tissue paper. We do have the foamy shapes, but that's for later. Maybe I want to do a big circle, but I can't make it too big because I need two. If I put a circle here, where does the other circle go? Good first grade. All right, so I'm gonna put a little dot of glue there and stick on my blue and put a little dot of there and stick on my glue. Ooh, that's looking good. It's the same on both sides. Let me get another one. I can put all these little foamy, or the tissue papers back in. Make a triangle and a triangle. Now look at this. Let's make sure they're the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. I'll put one triangle right here. And I'll put the next triangle right here so that it shows symmetry. All right, we did one, two, three. We need one more. We wanna do four symmetrical shapes on our butterfly with our tissue paper. Um, I'm going to do a square this time, two green squares. Now, if I put them right in the middle, this is not showing symmetry. They have to be on both sides. There's a line right here. So whatever I do to the side, I have to do this side. So I'm going to move these a little bit closer to my, um, rectangles down here. So I'll put a little glue there for a green, um, square. And I'll put a little glue there for a green square. Now let's count our shapes. One, two, three, we got four. Now it's time to move on to our foamy shapes. We can put all of our tissue paper back in our cup, even the pieces we didn't use. This is what we're not doing, guys. We're not crumbling it all up and putting it in there so it was a little ball. No, we don't need to do that. We're gonna keep them straight. Keep them flat as we can and just put them in there for the next class. All right, so if I have a yellow square, 
there, where do I put the other yellow square? Right there? Good job. Yep, we have to do the same thing to the other side. If I put a red triangle here, I need a red square right there, right? Can I do it like this? Does this show symmetry? No, has to be just like that one. There we go. And we need to do four foamy shapes. So let's count my foamy shapes now. One, two, three, I need one more set of foamy shapes. What if I have one orange and I really like this one, but I don't have another orange. Can I use a green circle? No. All right, my butterfly's almost done. I'm gonna put a diamond right there and another diamond right there. All right, friends, my butterfly is showing symmetry.